As human beings, we're wired to search for answers and to try and find meaning in the most mysterious circumstances. As internet users, we're wired to click through a million posts a day, each one scaring the crap out of us with a haunting story of a creepy unsolved mystery. The solution is simple. Hollywood must adapt our viral unsolved mystery obsessions into films. That way we can perhaps see those compelling stories told in a way that helps explain them. Or at least, one that sh**s everyone up. With that in mind, I'm Adam Wilborn from What Culture, and these are nine creepy unsolved mysteries that need to be turned into movies. Number 9. The Bodies of Pauline Picard In 1922, a two-year-old Pauline Picard, no relation, vanished from her family's farm in a small French village. Just as her parents had lost hope, she was found over 300 kilometers away. A month later, a neighboring farmer found a pile of neatly folded clothes next to a mutilated corpse near the Picard property. The clothes were what Pauline was wearing the day she disappeared, and next to the headless corpse was a skull from an unidentifiable adult male. Whether the body was Pauline's or not, who the skull belonged to and who the girl was that was now living with the Picards remains a mystery to this day. Number 8. The Wow Signal If you think working for an organization called SETI, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, sounds like the coolest job in the world, you're wrong. Just ask SETI employee Jerry R. Amon. He recorded numbers, listened into the void of deep space, and heard nothing. That is, until August 15th, 1977, when a 72-second signal bounced back to him. He wrote down his findings and scribbled, wow, next to them. The sound was never explained or heard again, but scientists agreed that if the signal did come from aliens, it would have to have been from an advanced civilization with technology infinitely more powerful than what we have on Earth. Number 7. The SOS of the SS Oorang Maiden It was June 1947 when ships all around Malaysia started picking up SOS distress calls. They were traced to a freighter called the SS Oorang Maiden. All officers, including captain, are dead, possibly whole crew dead. When an American ship found and boarded the Oorang Maiden, they found corpses on every deck, each with the same eyes-wide look of terror on their faces. As the ship was towed back to land, it mysteriously caught fire, blew up in a ball of flames, and sank to the bottom of the ocean, bringing the mystery down with it. Number 6. Severed Foot Beach Several beaches on the Salish Sea are now known for being the site where severed feet have repeatedly been found washed up on shore. Starting in 2006, 20 feet have now been discovered in the area with no explanation. While five feet have been identified, the rest are of unknown origin and no other body parts have been found in the area. Note to self, don't go on holiday anywhere bloody near the Salish Sea. Number 5. The Pollock Twins In 1957, Joanna and Jacqueline Pollock died tragically after being struck by a car while they walked to church. One year later, their parents had twin girls, and curiously, one of the girls seemed to have identical birthmarks to her deceased sister Jacqueline. Even creepier, their mother once watched the twins play a game in which they pretended they were dying, when one of them said, The blood's coming out of your eyes. That's where the car hit you. And that's me not sleeping tonight. Number 4. The Disappearance of Frederick Valentich It was mid-flight on his journey from Melbourne to Kings Island in October 1978 when Valentich contacted air traffic control and asked if they had knowledge of any other aircraft in his vicinity. They said they didn't, but Valentich assured them that he saw an object shaped like a cigar with lights on it flying near him. And his final words were, it is not an aircraft. Several sightings of a UFO were reported in the area that same day, but Valentich's plane lost radio contact and he was never heard from again. Number 3. The Voynich Manuscript you, Dan Brown, The Da Vinci Code has got nothing on this. The conspiracy to end all conspiracies revolves around the famed Voynich Manuscript, an ancient book written in a mysterious language that no one has been able to crack. Some say the Codex is the key to discovering alien life, while others say 
It's simply a load of bollocks. No one on Earth has been able to decipher what it means or who wrote it. Despite the world's best code breakers having worked on the manuscript, its mysteries seem destined to be locked away forever. Where's Tom Hanks when you need him? Wilson! 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 Number two, the Hinterkaifeck Slaughter. Germany in the 1920s wasn't you know, the best time, but adding some creepy unexplained murders, it gets even worse. After hearing footsteps in the attic of their secluded farmhouse, the family who lived there disappeared. After a few days, a neighbor went to check on them, only to find most of the family slaughtered in the barn by a pickaxe. The never-to-be-found murderer ended up staying in the house a while afterwards too, apparently, as evidenced by neighbors seeing smoke coming from the chimney and the food in the home having been eaten. Number one, the Christmas Eve tragedy of the Sodders. In West Virginia on Christmas Eve, a father of 10 children awoke to his house on fire. Y yeah, maybe I don't do it like this, eh? After helping his wife and four of their children escape the flaming home, the father attempted to go inside and rescue the others. What he found was that the ladder he always kept against the side of the house was missing, the water from the rain barrel had turned to ice, and his truck just wouldn't start. He was forced to do nothing as five of his children burned to death. Then, over 20 years later, an envelope came in the mail with a photograph of a young man that looked eerily like a grown-up version of one of the deceased sons. His name, Louis Sodder, was written on the back. Don't have nightmares.